Space Elevator, Humanity's Ultimate Stairway to the Stars. It sounds like something from a sci-fi blockbuster, but believe it or not, it's an idea scientists have been seriously entertaining for over a century. Picture it, a colossal tether stretching from Earth to space, cutting out rockets entirely. No more fiery takeoffs, no more enormous fuel bills, just a smooth ride into orbit. It's the ultimate cosmic escalator, but with fewer awkward moments of someone standing on the wrong side. This idea first sprouted in 1895, courtesy of a Russian scientist named Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Inspired by the Eiffel Tower, Tsiolkovsky imagined a tower reaching from Earth to geostationary orbit. Back then, it was pure fantasy, like dreaming of Wi-Fi in the 1800s. Materials strong enough to build it simply didn't exist. But the seed was planted, and eventually, it grew into one of the most exciting what-ifs in human history. Fast forward to 1979, and along comes Arthur C. Clarke, one of sci-fi's grandmasters, with his novel, The Fountains of Paradise. Clarke didn't just dream about the space elevator. He fleshed it out. He described the engineering challenges, the political drama, even the cultural shockwaves. He made it seem doable. Suddenly, this wasn't just a wild idea. It was a wild idea with a to-do list. Science fiction, of course, couldn't get enough of it. Clarke wasn't alone in his enthusiasm. Kim Stanley Robinson imagined building one on Mars in Red Mars. Spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for the elevator. And in Heaven's Reach and Saturn Run, the space elevator becomes humanity's logistical MVP. Even video games jumped on board. Ever played Civilization Beyond Earth and thought, why can't we have one of these already? So what makes this concept so captivating? It's the promise of efficiency. A space elevator wouldn't just reduce the cost of getting into orbit, it would slash it to ribbons. Satellites, space stations, even humans could be launched into the great beyond without burning mountains of fuel. Imagine uploading a payload to space like you upload a cat video to the cloud, except, you know, with more actual clouds involved. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Building this thing is no walk in the park, or the stratosphere, for that matter. The tether is the biggest hurdle. It has to be absurdly strong and ridiculously light. Steel? Too weak. Titanium? Don't make me laugh. Enter carbon nanotubes and graphene. These wonder materials are like the superhero capes of the science world. Amazing in theory, but not quite ready for prime time. And then there's space debris. Imagine a tether miles long getting sideswiped by a rogue satellite. Oops or the atmosphere itself wreaking havoc. Scientists are working on solutions, self-healing materials, advanced coatings, fancy stabilizing systems, but these aren't quick fixes. They're the kind of challenges that keep engineers awake at night, muttering, why couldn't we just stick to rockets? There are stepping stones, though. A lunar elevator might be our first shot. The moon's weaker gravity and lack of atmosphere make it a far easier target, and Believe it or not, materials we already have, like Kevlar, might do the trick. Once we nail that, scaling up to Earth becomes less daunting. Still daunting, just less so. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, money. This isn't something you fund with a bake sale or a Kickstarter. We're talking billions, probably trillions over decades. But think about the payoff. Affordable space travel, asteroid mining, orbital solar power stations. This thing could be a gold mine. Literally, if we start hauling precious metals from space. Of course, pulling this off will take teamwork on a level humanity hasn't seen since we decided pyramids were a good idea. Governments, private companies, universities, everyone would need to chip in. Picture SpaceX and Blue Origin awkwardly shaking hands, agreeing to share the universe. Here's the kicker. It's not impossible. Difficult? Yes. Expensive? Absolutely. But impossible? Not anymore. We're closer than ever to making the space elevator a reality. It won't happen tomorrow, or next year, or even in the next decade. But when it does, it'll be one of the most transformative achievements in human history. Imagine a future where accessing space is as routine as catching a plane. Satellites, research, interplanetary missions, all within reach. The space elevator isn't just a bridge to the stars, it's a bridge to a whole new chapter in our story. And let's be honest, who doesn't want a front row seat to that?